Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am in the living room set. Well, actually this is technically my dining area, but I'm in this setup, which usually only means that I am doing a video with my dog, which I am. The only videos I've been doing with my dog up to now have been BarkBox videos. However, wanted to do this video um, ever since I got these results. What I mean by for today's video and results, I did a doggy DNA test. Yeah, I did. Found out what you are. So I've had Ivan for a little over a year. I got him in March of 2017. Kind of his backstory. Um, I've talked about it before. My mom found him late one night. It was rainy. It was cold. It was like 930 at night. She was down a back road going to a house and all of a sudden there's just small black puppy in the middle of the road. So she opens the door and he quickly hops in. So very friendly dog from the get go. Sends me this picture and says look what I just found. And I'm sitting there going like uh oh. Uh oh became my uh oh. Because I was like I'll take him. Because she was sitting there talking about how she was going to go to the vet. She was going to take him there. She was first of all going to ask around at the neighbor's houses in the morning if they were missing a dog. No one was missing a dog. Um, so she went to the vets. Turns out someone in my home county had dropped a whole litter of these dogs around the county. Not even together, but like around the county because he was the third one that was turned into the vet's office. He wasn't turned in because I just told my mom, I was like, I'm gonna take him. Don't leave him there, he's mine. I have had Ivan for roughly a year and two months. He turned one, we estimate January 1st. But ever since then, I have been wondering what kind of a dog he is. Like, you can look at him and see that he's a lab, or at least has lab in him. I'm looking over toward him, that's why I looked off in the distance. So you can see that there's lab in him, but it's hard to tell what else. So the vet originally thought maybe like lab chow pointer mix. I could see the pointer, but the chow I was not seeing. So I kept going back and forth about doing the test, mostly because I wanted him to get old enough so that I knew the results would be, you know, clearer, uh, a little bit more believable, I suppose. I got the kit from Amazon. It was like $76, really wasn't that bad. The turnaround time took forever. But I guess for a DNA test, it kind of happened. Currently going nuts over a cat toy. And so I shipped it off, got it back, or I got the results back in like two to three weeks, which is what they tell you is the turnaround time. But I thought for today's video, I would I would go over his results. I have looked at his results, so I do know what they are. He's being in a little naughty pants today, so now I have to keep him on a leash because he can't seem to control himself, which is explained in his DNA test. So part of his DNA results i'm not surprised with some of it i didn't see before but now that it's mentioned it i did but i just thought i would go over the results so that if you have a dog and you've been curious about doing like a dna test this is just kind of like my impression of this um as well as just what is my dog so let's let's go ahead i have it up here on my computer i'm gonna move over here so that i can actually put that video over there this is just the wisdom panel screen um, it talks about like learning lab if you want to learn a little bit more about dogs in general and blah blah blah. I did that like while the test was still trying to come back. But we do have here about Ivan and then this section called Ivan's Health. You have to pay like $30 extra I think. I have not done that though I am interested in doing it because it can talk about certain things like um, is he more prone to arthritis when he's older? Is he more prone to developing a type of cancer. So I may end up doing that, but at the same time, those types of things scare me in general. Like, I don't know if I'd want to know that information. Like they do it for humans too. Like, are you more prone to developing Alzheimer's or dementia? I don't know if I'd want to know that. I say I want to know it, but if it actually came down to it, would I want to? That makes sense. So we are gonna click on the about Ivan. Discover all about Ivan, the results are in. So the first thing they show you is like their breed by percentage. If you look at Ivan's large portion, the blue, the big blue one right here is Labrador Retriever, 37.5%. That part didn't surprise me. I knew he was mostly lab. Do you have to just destroy everything? I knew he was mostly lab. Just if you look at him and just see what like his, his stature and how he holds himself and how he acts. He's very much a lab. Now, the rest of this though kind of surprised me. So if you look at the next three specific breeds, we have Siberian Husky, Boxer, and Collie. Collie, 
I don't see other than his markings. He's solid black and he's got like a white chest and the tips of all his paws are white except for one paw which is like solid white and it looks like he's got a cast on. Siberian Husky, I don't know where the fuck they got that from, but I don't know where that is. And then the other one that I wasn't expecting, but now that they've mentioned it, I can see. And that's Boxer. I can see that in him. I, I, can, I can see a little Boxer in him. I still mostly see Lab, but yeah, so let's just talk about each breed. Oh, and then there's this one category right here called breed groups. From what I gathered, that means that they went back as far as they could, but they couldn't pinpoint a specific breed. So instead they kind of broadened it a little bit and it's more of a group. So his top breed group is like a guard group, followed by a hound, followed by a sport, and followed by companion, which that one's just laughable. So let's go on and learn a little bit about labs. So this was his largest group. It shows pictures of them. He fits that mold very well. They are gentle and trusting. You hear that? You're gentle. Gentle. You hear that? Gentle. 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 Trusting, I definitely see. Gentle, not so much. Uh, appearance, his height, I don't know what it is, but his weight is like spot on. So weight, I, you know, I don't look at the show one clearly because I'm not showing this dog. But for pet, it ranges from 49, could you not? 49 to 77, he is 74.7 pounds. So he fits that pretty well. Okay, okay. Usually happy-go-lucky, calm, or easy-going dogs, though some may be energetic. Yeah, don't say. Usually friendly and are generally good family dogs. Except for the fact that anytime he hears like a child's voice, he barks uncontrollably. I think I taught him that. Food motivated. That part really got me when I first read it. Quite food motivated. You. You, why oh you, can you not eat the floor? He was very easy to train in some regards just because he does like treats and he does like food. Fits him to a T. Can you not? All right, so next up we have Siberian Husky. I still don't see this one, but whatever. Intelligent and hardworking. Sure. Questionable. Not gonna get into this too much because I feel like Appearance-wise, he's very much a lab. Active, social, and usually friendly dogs often do well with children and other dogs. Energetic. Would you like to participate in some dog sports? Maybe that's what you need in life. Um, may engage in digging, might chase wildlife. He doesn't give a shit. He's never dug before. Like, he'll paw, but he won't dig. Stubborn tendencies. May be lessened by using reward-based training involving small treats and favorite toys. That fits him very well. He's a very stubborn dog. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it just because of how happy he is, especially to please people. But can you not? God bless America. Next one, Boxer. This one was the most interesting to me just because once I saw Boxer listed, I was like, I can see that. I can see him as that. Sorry, my hair is like totally ratchet. All right, so Boxer, 12.5%. Playful and bright dogs. He's definitely playful and he fits the weight of a boxer. Ah! He's chewing on his leash right now and it's really bad. All right, intelligent, hardworking, and playful dogs with a high amount of energy. Boxers seem to enjoy dog sports. Easy, eager to learn and respond well to reward based training. Why, why are you every dog breed that likes food? As he sits there and licks my chair. Tendency to, this, this one got me right here. Tendency to jump up on people. Sometimes boxing with their front feet when doing so. Him. That is like him. Like it should have just said see also Ivan. Cause that is him. He does that every single night before we go to bed. Um, he'll jump on me in the mornings, but usually he's too sleepy to still do that. But at night before we go to bed, he does that. He'll get up on his back legs and start like kicking out. All right, Collie, also 12.5%. If you notice, Collie, Husky, and Boxer all had a three-way tie for 12.5%. Super intelligent dogs are originally from Scotland. That's cool. Weight, he falls into that. The only one he hadn't fallen into yet is Husky. I feel like Husky is so light because of their fur. Intelligent, obedient, active, and watchful dogs. Eager to learn, especially with reward-based training. What dog isn't, though? Like, are there any dogs out there that just don't give a shit about food? Because I can't relate. Neither can he. They enjoy dog sports. I have more to start doing dog sports with you. Maybe that's what we need. Although, and this one kind of fits Ivan. Although they are often good with children and are usually friendly, some collies can be wary and reserved 
with strangers, like all the way through Ivan. So then this next one, which was the largest, was 25%, talks about the breed groups. So it says breed groups Ivan is most likely related to. So they test his ancestry for specific pure breeds going back three generations, AKA to the great grandparents. Um, beyond this, today's technology can only identify down to genetic group levels. So that's what this group is. So they went back as far as they could to get specific breeds, but then there was a point where they couldn't push it any further. So then the first one that he's like most related to is the guard group. You notice boxers in this group. Also Great Dane. A lot of people say they see Great Dane in him. Also American Staffordshire Terrier or Pitbull as people usually know them as. I see that in him. I can see a pit bull in him somewhere. And if there are any pit bull haters out there, you can just go ahead and click off my video now because you're an asshat. So the guard group. Dogs of the guard group were bred to guard dog or guard dogs. Guard people and property. They are often quick to learn and these intelligent, capable animals make solid companions. He's probably like the best guard dog I could have asked for. The minute he hears a voice or hears any kind of sound, he is on it. Being so cute right now. He knows that he got in trouble earlier. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But he's he's by far, I couldn't have asked for a better guard dog. Now, there's the fact that he's overly friendly as well, so that once he gets to know you, he just, garden goes out the window and we're just friendly as a mofo. But, yes we are. Yes we are. Oh God. Um, so I definitely see him falling into the guard group and relating to these critters. So then that's followed by the hound group. I see see this one a little less. Um, most common ancestral trait, and that's probably why it's listed, um, used for hunting. He's so ADD that there's no way he could hunt ever. Hi, I'm so glad you could join us up here. Can you not? Hi, hi, okay. That's my big boy, that's my big boy. Can you get down now? Ooh. Hi, how are we? Oh God, oh, okay. So I don't really see him as a hound dog. See, see, see this? I don't know what that is. Excuse me. Oh God, so next. We have the sporting group. Golden Retriever is listed there. You know, other than just being very responsive, like it mentions in nature and intelligent. I don't see him really fitting in with like Cocker Spaniels, Poodles, and Weimariners. And then finally the companion group, which this one made me giggle when I first saw it, because we have the Bichon Freeze, Pug, Shih Tzu, Kishon, P and Pomeranian listed. Does this dog look like a Bichon Freeze or a Pug? Or a Shih Tzu? Or a Kishon? I don't even know what a Kishon is. I hope that's how it's pronounced. And Pomeranian. Bichon Freeze is just so fun to say. That's my Bichon Freeze. Anyway, bred for the specific purpose of human companionship and many, many are popular pets. Not you. Because of their gentle nature. Yeah, I don't know what Wisdom Panel was thinking, but companion ain't him. Alright, so family tree. So it looks at this point what possibility his parents were. So looking at his stats up here, you have the possibility where one of his parents was probably a lab or part of the breed group that was mentioned. And then the other one was either one of the top four specific breeds. So then you have the grandparents, then you go all the way back to the great grandparents that so you see down here where all of those breeds were probably somewhere in his line, like way back in the great grandparents. So I'm fascinated with his results. I'm really glad I did it because it's nice to know what he is so that I can better understand his personality. I'm always wondering why he acts a certain way or why he does something or, or why he won't stop doing something. Like, is it part of who he is, you know, DNA wise? Is that what his breed just makes him do? He doesn't like it when you stare at him for very long. He gets really upset by it and it's kind of funny. I just thought I would share with y'all what my dog is because I do get asked often, usually in person, no one on the internet has asked me what kind of dog he is. Oh God. Um, I usually respond with heathen when someone asks me what kind of dog he is. Um, so this is my heathen. I love him dearly, wouldn't trade him for anything. So sometimes I really question that. But yeah, if you've ever done a DNA test with your animals before, um, what, what did your results end up being? And did you, did you believe the results that were listed for them? I believe Ivan's, the, the husky one 
is a little odd. So I don't know if I believe that, but the rest of it, yeah. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this DNA results shit show, please give this video a big old thumbs up going down there. Oh God, hit that subscribe button because I would really, really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Can you knock it off? Can you? No, don't eat my castle. Stop, stop. Why are you the way you are? Oh, we just went over that.